What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Tiger Tran, coming back at you with part three of Seven Days to Die. We are in a crafting phase right now, so if if you guys don't like base building as much, I'd probably say skip to the next episode, because this episode, what I'm going to try to do is I'm crafting bellows, I'm going to try to build furnaces, uh, try to figure out with the anvil what I can actually build with it. Uh, now that I think about it, there might be me running around in this because inevitably these things got some big timers. All right, so we got murky water cooking up here. It's a part of me that almost wonders. There was a there was a wrench upstairs. So let's. Well, that, that, that'll be when we build the actual furnace itself. Alright, so now we got bellows. So furnace. Or can we click on this? Recipes. Forge. Oh, forge, not furnace. Is furnace something different? Am I on drugs? Oh, maybe... Was it ever called a furnace? Maybe it just looks like one. Oh, that actually doesn't take too long. Only 40 seconds. Oh, zombie spawns. What? Oh my gosh. Alright, there's that shot. What? Bad boy. Bad boy. I might have missed this area here. This definitely isn't better. Yeah. Than this. I don't want to repair it just to see what this top end stats are, though. Oh, let's go. But the nerdy glasses are so much better. Even though the swag level is so much lower. Well, I'm all about utility. I want to live. I don't want to look cool. Though looking cool is an added benefit. All right. We really don't need these sammies. Wait. 21. Hmm. I might wear it just for the heat. So that way I don't have to drink as much water. Plant fibers. Make some basic stuff. Gosh, stupid coffee. All right, we're just going to get rid of this for a night. Oh, dang. All right. I got to check. Oh. oh. All right, let's just go downstairs. This is what this game is, man. It's just like Ludomanjaro. You keep on finding more and more stuff, and you're just like, oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Look at that. Dang, we got a bunch of water up here. So I think I would end up happening. And I, I searched the third and fourth floor really well, but I think the second floor I didn't because I think I was hearing zombies. So I was trying to clear stuff up, clear stuff out quickly. Uh, from a furnace perspective, we're going to put you here. Okay. So then we've got our anvil. Put some wood in you. So I know we. So like so, what can you? Oh, it's just so how you can get your brass back. I'm looking in here. So let's say we wanted to make ammunition for our guns, or even maybe iron arrowheads. Because we can't make steel. I think you need a crucible. Maybe not? You just need iron and clay? Hmm. 
Well, let's throw the clay in here for now. So we got lead. So we're going to put weapons and tools over here. So this is for base upgrading later. Keep our wrench on us for now. This will go into our workbench inevitably when we can make it. Organizing. So this will be like building materials. Take half our water, put it in here. Actually, we're going to take it all because we're going to go upstairs and grab the rest of it. Throw our nitrate in here. Actually, no. Because everything weapon based is going to go in here. Or tools base. Or things to make weapons. Nitrate. Hmm, mechanical parts. More crafting. Oh, I saw these bullet casings. Oh yeah, we wanted those better arrow tips as well. for later will be really good for our, oh we could actually put in the chemistry station I don't know what you need the beaker for specifically but I do know that it's needed all right so now consolidate this and we will put our iron here as well we're going to throw our nitrate over here oil is for repairing so that I can go here as well Did we already put the flashlight in here? Oh, wow, we found another flashlight. All right, cool. So papers used to make ammunition. Moldy bread. So can we make forged? Cause like, that's the big thing I wanted to know is can I make forged iron here? We can, let's go. All right, well, let's just craft it as we can. We don't have a shotgun yet, so there's no reason to even attempt to make buckshot. Take the forged steel. Dang, we got lots of water that we could go and sell. Alright, so coal is used to make weapons. Paper is used to make shotgun shells. Throw our raw meat in here for now. No oh, dang, I hear boys brawling on stuff. Oh, they're attracted by heat. That's right. All right, let's let's take a round of. Maybe they spawn on a higher floor. Come on in, friend. I shall give you, I will greet you with the present of death. Bad boy. 
Stop breaking my doors. This isn't your home. Just get out of here. So the question is... Hmm. I'm wondering if a lot of zombies will come this way. Oh my gosh. This takes forever. I'm used to doing this with like a fire axe. That's really high quality. <laughs> the reason I'm breaking this guy's body up is I'm pretty sure corpses. And I wonder if it would have been better to do with the shiv. There's a part of me that wants to not use this as a main entrance and just put up some spike traps. Can I do barbed wire? Barb. Oh, we need some straight up iron for this. I was thinking about just maybe setting up some barbed wire traps here to take out their legs. monkey going through that side of the building. Hopefully the barbed wire just murders people by itself. Seems to do a lot of damage, which is good. How are we doing on forged iron? i craft some more here. I was wondering if one more furnace would be good to have. Maybe throw it right here. Alright. So bones are throwing in here because those can be used to make glue later. Put medical supplies and food in here already. So we're going to keep that the way it is. Some extra pills other construction stuff brass so we have a ton of shell casings right now so we won't monkey with that beer all right okay so what can we make with this much forge steel a barb club Balls. Oh, you can just make claw hammers. That's cool. Metal doors, garden hoe, which is not necessary at all. Oh, yeah, the blunderbuss. Gosh, I just don't know if it's worth making or not. I heard it's really good at killing dogs. I've used it before. It is fun, but it doesn't seem that strong, especially with an SMG online. Ooh, hunting knife. Oh, but we don't have the... Recipe for it. Sledgehammer, you need recipe. Oh, here we go. This is what we want to make, is these tools. Let's see what else is in here that you could make. Warehouse lights. Oh, crucible. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, do you see how much this takes? I'm trying to think where the closest workbench is. I know of only one thus far. It's super far away. In the ice biome. Ooh, crossbow. So I haven't found any of these yet. Okay. Workbench. Oh, you need a wrench as well. But I did see that perk. Yeah, that's the little learning symbol. Hmm. 
All right, so we're going to make some better tools. That's going to be our next step before we roll out. Because we will pick up uh, stone nodes in the future here. I don't know if we necessarily... Uh, Okay, so forge steel. Dang boy, it's a long, long time to make that. So the question was, is do I want to stay and wait for an axe? That was my thought process because, you know, oh, I can make wrenches as well. This wrench is a twelve, dude. This thing is butt cheeks, but things I can make are probably disassemble mechanical devices like cars, air conditioners, and more. Also be used to upgrade walls. So I think you can take these TVs apart. You get plastic. And there's, so there's electrical parts and mechanical parts. Cool. Oh, dang. We don't have gas, though. Part of me was like, oh, I could start making the motorbike, which would be amazing. Motorbike. Or would it be under science? It's like the chassis. There it is. A mini bike, not motorbike. Okay. Wait, how much did I need again? 200 iron, 20 clay. Oh. I'll just do this for now. And then we will craft. Oh, you need a workbench. Oh, interesting. Ooh, my boy's hungry. All right. Oh, we can make bullet tips now. Clutch. All right, we need more forged iron, though. But we also need those bullet tips. We haven't cooked up that much lead. But we do actually have a pretty solid amount of clay. Let's put this in here for now. All right, we got stones just in case. Grass, I don't know. Shovel. Are we going to be shoveling anything soon? We don't... I don't think so. We will just be dis disassembling things. So let's have that stuff cook up. Let's go get the rest of that water and those arrowheads. It wasn't on this corpse. No. Oh, but the beverages were back there. But the arrowheads were in here. No, it's just straight up arrows. Let's go. I always like to use the best arrows. Just to kill things faster. Level up. Because inevitably we might just... I doubt we can make st steel, but... Oh yeah, there's another airdrop over here. I had found a tool that was better, and I thought I picked it up. But I don't think I did. But this is giving me some sweet XP, so I'm all about this life. It's so dark in here. Alright. Let's go check on that steel. And if we can make a fire axe, that'll be great. So a workbench would be really nice. There's a part of me is like, do I actually want to just invest in getting some points into tools? I mean, inevitably, because this is a solo play, I'm always going to need good tools. That's just always a thing. And how much levels do we have? 
We've got 12. I'm debating it. Yeah, look at it. The quality of tools just goes up huge. And we're always going to need tools. And I want to be able to get the the workbench. So what did we need? Smithing tools 2 and construction tools. So let's look at construction first. We might have this. Oh, nice. So this just does go up. What's the other one, though? It was tools, tools smithing. Player level 5. Oh, nice. That's actually pretty easy to get. Cool. Wow. So that means we're going to craft tools that are 115. Wait, did we finish? We did finish our pickaxe already. All right, that's kind of a bummer. Because I would have loved to be able to make a higher level pickaxe. What would happen if I scrapped this? Let's just look really quick. What did we get? Oh, crappy iron. Ah. Uh, we are going to do it. We're going to scrap this. Wow, did it cook up all the lead already? It did. Okay. So then we are going to grab our clay. Throw that bad boy in here. So note to self. Pick up lead. Cool. Alright, so we are going to make all the bullet tips we can. Ho 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 ho, let's go. And we also need iron, it looks like. And then we're going to make forged iron. And let's just have some in the backlog. Alright, so then we're going to craft... We are going to craft tools. Is it easy to find in here? Probably not. Tools. We know this is always going to be a favorite. We know this is going to be a favorite, at least for a while. I'd love to know how to make steel tools, but I'm thinking you probably need some pretty high... Alright, so crafting this, and crafting this. Alright, boys! Six minutes! Oh my gosh, that's so brutal. Six glorious minutes. We do have iron here. So we're going to continue to put this in. Throw the pipes, throw this here. We got arrows. We got water. Oh, my guy was hungry. We do meat here. But we don't have eggs or anything to cook it with. I wonder if boiled meat gives wellness. Cooking. Oh, grilled. Oh, we need we need wood. I'm gonna try making a grilled meat. Are we cooking two or are we cooking one? Wait. And then I also kind of want to, I want to try one boiled meat. Because I'm trying to think what has better effects. So we're going to look at this here. This is kind of a little bit of an experiment. All right, guys. Well, this has been taking care of the base, getting meat online, getting our forge online. We've got bullet tips coming. So we'll be able to produce so hopefully some level of ammunition. But we got our forge steel. We're going to have some baller tools for the next playthrough. And we'll be ready to go and explore. This has been Tiger Tran. And I'll see you guys next time.